The content of this podcast is provided for general informational purposes only and is not intended as, nor should it be considered a substitute for professional medical advice. This is Karen Nickel, family nurse practitioner in For Itchy and Bitchy, a podcast answering questions about health and health care that you may have but are afraid to ask. I thought about doing a podcast today on a red, white, and blue theme for the 4th of July, but realized that uh, most medical conditions that cause problems that are red, white, and blue are pretty gross. Uh, So I thought better of that, and uh, I moved on to a different topic. So you are welcome. So I thought maybe I would talk today about hormone pellets and using pellet form for hormone replacement. I have many patients and listeners who have asked about the use of hormone pellets for their replacement And what are the advantages and disadvantages um, and the safety factors involved in using pellet form to replace their hormones? So first of all, um, what hormones are used in pellets? So bioidentical hormones are used in pellets when we use them for hormone replacement. And bioidentical hormones are hormones that are molecularly identical to the hormones your body produces when they are producing hormones. And um, these hormones are plant-derived. And for women, the hormones used in the pellet form are estradiol, which is one of the three estrogen forms we have in our bodies. And we we also use testosterone in women. And typically, progesterone, the third type of hormone we have in our bodies, women have in our bodies, is included, but it's usually used in a capsule or a cream form. For men, testosterone only is the form of pellet that is used. And pellets are about the size of a fat grain of rice. And they are inserted under the skin using a device called a trocar. And it's um, inserted by a skilled medical professional. It involves a minor surgical procedure in which an area of skin at the top of the buttocks is numbed and a small incision is made and the trocar is inserted just under the skin, not into the fat or muscle, and the pellet or pellets are deposited. A steri strip is then placed over the incision. There's no stitch or suture placed there. The benefits of pellets will last about three to six months. Candidates for pellets are menopausal women who have low estrogen and or testosterone levels and premenopausal women who have low testosterone levels. Usually premenopausal women don't need estrogen supplementation, but there are exceptions to that. Also, men with low testosterone levels are good candidates for this treatment option. Insurance does not typically cover this HRT pellet therapy, especially for women, because the the pellets are typically provided by compounding pharmacies. There is a manufactured pellet, testosterone pellet, called Testapel, that is approved for men only, not women, men with androgen deficiency, and it is covered by most commercial insurance plans. Um, I'm going to take a quick break, and then I'm going to talk to you about the pros and cons of pellet therapy. Patients often ask me, how can I eat cleanly and and do it easily. And I love that I have a quick and easy answer, and that is Green Chef. Green Chef is the first USDA-certified organic meal kit company. 
You can enjoy clean ingredients that are in season so that they are at their peak of freshness always. If you want to make a great meal and save time doing it, Green Chef meal kits are pre-measured, perfectly portioned, and mostly prepped. Green Chef makes eating well easy and affordable with plans to fit every lifestyle. They have so many wonderful recipes and you are sure to find a plan that works for you because they offer keto, paleo, vegan, and vegetarian meal kits. As a matter of fact, Green Chef is the first ever keto meal kit on the market with recipes averaging only 14 net carbs each. Yes, 14 net carbs each. It makes sticking to a low-carb lifestyle easy. As you all probably know by now, my husband does the meal preparation around here since I work more hours than I care to count. And next week, he will be kind enough to be preparing for us Green Chef's Cuban chicken with chimichurri, then Greek beef with feta patties, and lastly, roasted sausages with sauerkraut. Can you tell he's a meat man? So if you are not all about the meat, you can be assured that you will get the nutrients you need from Green Chef's vegan and vegetarian meals because their recipes are high in plant proteins and rich in omega-3s. Go to greenchef.com slash 90itchy and use code 90itchy to get $90 off, including free shipping. Go to greenchef.com slash 90itchy and use code 90itchy to get $90 off, including free shipping. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. You want to know another way to reduce stress? Find a bra that fits you. Third Love uses the measurements of millions of women to design bras with all-day comfort and support that range in cup sizes from AA to I, including half cups, and band sizes from 30 to 48 inches. Every Third Love bra is made with memory foam cups, so they're smooth, no slip straps, and a scratch-free band. Yes, these are great bras, but the really amazing thing that Third Love gives you is a fitting room quiz. I think most women have difficulty choosing the bra that truly fits them because we're often not exactly sure how it should fit. Their quiz is super easy and fun that focuses on size, brush shape, current fit issues, and your personal style. By completing this quiz, Third Love can give you the bra and underwear that are a perfect fit for you. While you are taking the quiz, there are fit stylists available to answer any questions that come up. Between the quiz and the expert stylist, you never have to leave your home to find your perfect bra. What is new at Third Love? Premium cotton fabrics available in drapey, easy fit knits. Those are four words I love to hear. Drapey, easy, fit knits. Uh, Also 100% cotton French terry and woven styles. The sizes are from extra small to 3X. All in the quality and fit you expect from Third Love. You deserve a bra that is not only comfortable but high in quality. And if you don't love it, exchanges and returns are free. Listen, I have their wireless bra. I usually wear a wireless bra and it it supports well it fits perfectly perfectly and uh, straps don't dig in cups are nice and smooth Uh, it's an excellent bra for me the thing that seals the deal is the fact that third love is committed to giving back They donate all of their gently used return bras to women in need, supporting charities in their local San Francisco Bay Area and across the United States. So far, Third Love has donated over $40 million worth of bras. Third Love knows your one true fit is out there. So right now, they're offering my listeners 20% off your first order. Go to thirdlove.com slash itchy now to find your perfect fitting bra and 20% off your first purchase. 
That's thirdlove.com slash itchy for 20% off today. Welcome back. We're talking about some of the pros of pellet therapy. First of all, it's easy to use. Remembering to take a hormone pill or apply a hormone cream every day can be difficult for some people who are busy raising a family, managing a career, and keeping up a household. When using pellet therapy, it is one less thing to have to keep track of every day. Remember, though, that we do not use progesterone pellets. We do not use progesterone pellets. So when progesterone is replaced, you will still need to use daily doses of either progesterone caps or creams. So you still have to keep track of that. I usually prescribe compounded HRT in either compounded caps, creams, or trochies, which are usually dosed twice daily, about 12 hours apart, because that is how long they last. And some people have breakthrough symptoms in the hour or two before their next dose is due. So with pellets, there is, um, there's more consistency of levels because they are steadily released over three to four months or longer. So the pellets can really provide a much more even level of hormones so that we don't have the up and down feeling on a daily basis. Uh, sometimes people will, um, even so have you know, drop off of um, benefit toward the end of the pellet time, like say your pellets tend to last about four months, you know, in the couple weeks before that, they'll start having a return of say hot flashes or night sweats. And so it's important to speak to the provider about about that so that you can time the scheduling of your pellet insertion to avoid some of those breakthrough symptoms. But that's a real advantage of the pellet um, usage is just that consistency of of, um, steady state hormone release. It can really benefit people. You know, the other thing that's really helpful is that just like we metabolize our medications that we take, we also metabolize the hormones that we take. And some people are very rapid metabolizers of our hormones. So especially estrogen, I have some patients who are just extremely rapid metabolizers of estrogen, they just burn through their estrogen. So it's really difficult to get their doses up high enough with Uh, things like creams or caps or even patches, you know, I'll use estrogen patches. And um, instead of using one patch twice weekly, they'll have to use two patches three times weekly. I I mean, it's really amazing uh, how quickly the levels will diminish even using high doses of estrogen. So those people really do well with pellets because they they need that high level of estrogen because they go through it so quickly. So that's those people are a really good fit for um, the estradiol pellets especially. Um, uh, because um, the estradiol levels become much higher when using pellets, The other thing that I see is uh, that the vaginal tissues become really well estrogenized. So even on exam, I see that the vaginal tissues are really healthy when people use uh, estradiol pellets. And so typically vaginal estradiol is not needed. Whereas when we use, uh, uh, excuse me, um, Uh, HRT caps or creams, we often have to add vaginal estrogen to avoid that dryness and pain with intercourse. The other thing is with uh, testosterone pellets in women, uh, the libido is typically much improved um, when using the testosterone pellets because the testosterone blood levels become much higher when using pellets um, rather than other HRT forms. 
uh, usually the dosing of the tel- the pellets um, that are used, you know, the way they dose it, um, it puts the serum levels in the male range for most women. I and, I, and honestly, I'm hearing I'm hearing listeners out there everywhere saying, "Well, what on earth could be the cons? If if the the vaginal tissues are great, the libido's great, you're feeling great." But I must say there are those for whom pellet therapy is the perfect fit. And there are. There are just some people who do fabulously on pellet therapy. And they just cannot imagine doing anything but that. Um, But there are some people who feel it is not right for them. And of course, I end up, you know, having to fix the ones who are pellet disasters. So... um, so I can tell you firsthand some of the ones that, that d- it doesn't work out for. So um, some of those problems that can arise with uh, use of pellets include um, when women have the really high testosterone levels in their blood. Again, some people do fabulously with that. But some women, when they have those levels in the male range, will get symptoms like very bad acne. I mean, really bad acne. And they will have significant hair loss, especially if the frontal hair loss, which we call male pattern balding. Um, and it looks like that. It looks, you know, like your uncle who had the receding hairline. Um, we also see um, the enlargement of the clitoris and to the point where it actually has the appearance of a small penis. Um, not sounding so good, is it? And um, we also can see facial hair, a pretty significant increase in, in facial hair. And I did, I have had one patient who received testosterone pellets at another practice, not not at my practice, and her libido was so high that she wound up having multiple extramarital affairs and the marriage ultimately ended in divorce. I'm sure there were probably other factors involved in that, but um, she she did um, act out on her extremely high libido and it did cause some significant marital problems. So um, yeah, so it can be problematic for some people. Also, when the serum levels of estradiol um, is high, which can happen with pellets, because when you use pellets, the serum levels of estradiol is in the 300 to 700 range versus when we use other forms of hormone replacement, it's usually in the, you know, 50 to 150 range. And um, when you have high estradiol levels, it can increase stimulation of the breast, ovarian, and uterine tissue. So if there is an abnormal cell present in one of those sex organs, the stimulation of that cell is more likely with high blood levels of estradiol. So remember, hormones don't cause cancer. I'm going to just say that again. Hormones don't cause cancer, but if there is a cancer or cancerous or abnormal cell, estradiol can stimulate the growth of that cell. So it just stands to reason that if you have higher blood levels of estradiol and you have an abnormal cell, you have a higher chance of stimulating the growth of that cell. Another uh, downside is that the use of pellets requires a um, a minor surgical procedure uh, that must be done by a trained medical professional. And it is important to have a trusted, skilled, experienced person providing this service for you. Also, because an incision is made and the pellets are inserted under the skin, scarring does occur. And some people build more scar tissue than others. So if you are prone to keloid scars... That is something to consider before opting for this form of HRT because you will get repeated incisions in your tushy. So 
if you form keloids easily, you'll end up with a lot of keloids on your tushy. So, um, the other thing is for women, uh, since the pellets are compounded, uh, the procedure and the pellets are typically not covered by insurance. But this is also true for other compounded uh, HRT forms. You know, all the stuff that I write that's compounded, that's not covered by insurance either. So, and the cost for pellet insertion varies based on geography and the number of pellets used. And it usually ranges from like $250 to $500. And the insertion time, uh, the range, you know, between insertions uh, can uh, go from three to six months, depending on your needs again. So you're looking at $250 to $500 every three to six months. Uh, so, you know, it, it ends up ranging about 80 80 to $100 a month, usually. So out of pocket, which, you know, anymore, gosh, that's a copay with insurance anymore. But, um, you know, it, it can be a really um, viable option for many people. And it, especially if you've tried other many other forms and they just haven't worked well for you, this may be something you want to consider. In order to find somewhere to have this done, you might want to check with your GYN. If you have a GYN, many GYN offices are offering this at at this point. And if they don't offer it, they may know a GYN office that does. Of course, there are many wellness practices that offer it, but it's certainly worth starting with your GYN practice first as they may uh, offer offer this service for you. In terms of um, men who want to get testosterone pellets, many urologist offices are doing this because, as I said, with Testapel being paid for by insurance companies, many uh, urology offices are offering this. I know one of the uh, physicians in our office does testapel insertions in our office. So it's a lot more common because it is covered by insurance. So check with your, for women, check with your GYN office first and uh, see if they offer it or might know of someone who offers it. And you can, again, always check with your compounding pharmacist for a reliable source of a provider who is skilled in this technique. So I want to thank Green Chef and Third Love for sponsoring today's episode. I want to thank you all for listening. I hope you all have a terrific and safe 4th of July. I want to thank Forrest Winslow for producing today's episode and for composing our theme music. Again, you can hear his uh, music on Spotify and Apple Music. Just look up Forrest Wenzel, F-O-R-R-E-S-T-W-E-N-T-Z-E-L, Spotify and Apple Music. And um, I want you all to stay safe, be well, and remember that your health is in your hands. See you next time. Mm-hmm.